Hello everyone, I'm Andrew Can, and if I can, you can too. In this video, we're going to be going over all that TubeBuddy's Keyword Explorer has to offer. This tool has been in the works for a while now. We just released a video on the main TubeBuddy channel. You can click the card on screen to learn all about how it works and its features. I'm really excited to be here with everyone live today to really go in depth on what it has to offer. Never heard of TubeBuddy? Don't have it? Consider downloading TubeBuddy with that affiliate link. I do also work for TubeBuddy. I want to fully disclose that before we go any further. That being said, I know these tools probably better than almost anyone else out there. So let me just kind of go over what they can do for you. TubeBuddy.com slash can if you've never used TubeBuddy before. Just kind of cool to have everyone out there joining us. We will get to the channel reviews later within the stream. But while we are waiting, I just wanted to say welcome to Harry Guys Sketches. Thank you so much for waiting. Appreciate Everyone who is out there, always appreciate the support these lives get. So, today we are going to be focusing on the TubeBuddy Keyword Explorer. So, I am going to go ahead and switch to my desktop. And we're going to go right into it. So, once you have TubeBuddy installed, the first thing you are going to want to do, and this is important to note, is that you are going to want to go to the TubeBuddy drop down menu and hit tag slash keyword explorer welcome you do it says so stopping by for a few hello andrew welcome always happy to have people here and here we go into TubeBuddy's keyword explorer if you have used older versions of TubeBuddy's, this version is much better so today since we're talking about how to use TubeBuddy's keyword explorer why don't we go to youtube keywords let's go super basic and what I love about this new tool is just how in-depth it goes. So with this, right off the bat, I also need to mention is that the weighted score that you'll be seeing me is with the paid versions of TubeBuddy. So if you do not have a paid version of TubeBuddy, you can use in the description down below my code, Andrew's Buddy, for 25% off on any level license. Really useful if you've never had TubeBuddy. Going back to the screen, we will see more of this go. Crypto Cruising says, his dare, you go live at the same time as Gord. I usually go live on Tuesdays. I didn't know Gord was live as well. My apologies, Gord. <laughs> so I usually go Tuesdays or Thursdays. It just happens to be a Thursday today, or Tuesday today, not a Thursday, because tomorrow I'm streaming on the main TubeBuddy channel. Anyway, back to what we are covering today. We are going to be going over the two the TubeBuddy's Keyword Explorer in depth. So we use the basic YouTube keywords. And we're going to do some amazing channel reviews later. So right off the bat, the first thing you're going to notice is that this is a personal score of very bad. The score above is specific to your channel based on how many views your videos tend to get and the chances of ranking in these search results along with standard unweighted factors. So immediately, this term for me is very bad. Even if it wasn't very bad, the unweighted, so not taking my personal use into account we're seeing that i have an, a poor to very bad so it's poor without my current views and everything taken into consideration but with it it's very bad for me to target this so try clicking a keyword in the related panel to find a better score you'll also see on the results page that this says 2.36 million if you look right here though look who is ranking high for YouTube keyword research, Dan from Creator Fundamentals, amazing channel. If you have not checked out Dan, highly recommend you do so. Has a lot of great information. Grow faster, better tags. Couldn't agree more. Love seeing the work he does. Go check him out if you haven't already. But you can kind of see just how things are. You can see Brian G. You can see us there at TubeBuddy. And that is an old video. So you get a kind of idea of how things go here. And you also get partial matches and full matches so when it's in light yellow like this what this means is that this is a partial match so for example youtube keywords notice how this is just youtube keywords so it doesn't highlight it completely because it is a separate word which youtube actually does for separate results hmm stacy morgan welcome i'm doing great tonight <laughs> you lee good to see you as well happy to see more people flooding in going over in depth everything it has to offer. So as we go here, there's probably not gonna be trending. There may be historical or map, doesn't appear to be so. But the thing I like is the video searches, web searches and video topics. So video searches is what people are looking for on YouTube. 
So let's say I wanted to do YouTube keywords for views. Let's say I think I can do a little bit better here. As you'll see, TubeBuddy is going to tell me that this is a lot better comparatively than YouTube keywords, which only had a score of five. So FAIR is a little better. It's not exactly where I'd like it to be. As you can see that there's a lot of competition. However, the optimization strength is very low and it's pretty moderately searched. If we look at the unweighted, it's good. But for my channel, with the average views I get, we see here that you need at least 221 to break through that gap and I average 89. Now, I've never actually done a YouTube keywords video, mostly because I try to focus on filmmaking and my travels and my expertise. Though so part of my expertise is YouTube, so maybe I should incorporate some more of that. As you'll see here, we have the results page yet again. And it's interesting because as you look here, you're going to see most used tags by videos that are ranking for this specific term. So if I wanted to change it to something else, I could go YouTube tags to get views, which we're going to see more web searches, different video topics and all these things. And this one is very bad because this one's probably com very competitive. So if you look here, we see Brian G ranking very high. We see Daryl Eves. So this one's a lot more competitive than necessarily YouTube keywords. And as we go on, we're going to go see more things that are going to contradict Welcome Armstrong Racing going over to Buddy's Keyword Explorer. So as we keep going through, we're going to see different levels of results. Now, a video I'm going to be doing very soon is YouTube Milestones. And this is something I want to kind of research live with you. So what we'll see here is I'm actually really close to breaking in here with what's required. And if we look here, the optimization strength is very low meaning that if I come in with a very well optimized video I have a very high chance of breaking through the results here and as you can see when the results are matching exactly we see top 10 YouTube milestones YouTube milestones is in that dark yellow where if it's just partial matches it's in that light yellow so if I say YouTube milestones how to create your own on YouTube or something like that I have a high probability of standing out here I also see that they're not really talking about YouTube milestones within the description they get. So as you can see here, even Daryl, that's something to consider and that's something we could probably break through with. So as we go on, if you have a specific trend you, or search phrase you would like me to go into, this is a great time for me to do it because I can give you my professional opinions on it. Welcome Daniel Batal, good to see you in here as well. Always appreciate you. If you are not subscribed to Daniel, go ahead and do that as well. There's so many good people in this chat tonight. I do apologize for doing this at the same time as Gord. I need to talk to Gord. I would love to have him on this. Maybe we talk about some results from his personal experience. In honor of Gord, let's look up Camtasia tutorial. I'm sure we might see a Mr. Gord pop up. I hope so. Ah, but this is something we need to consider. This is something I need to get Gord to consider. I would say that he should show up for Camtasia tutorial. And while it does have his, his different, his audience is a lot more into Camtasia. So for him, he probably could break through this pretty easily. It has a lot of search volume. It's competition is high, but the strength of optimization is not necessarily there. So that's something you could consider. And the unweighted is going to be poor. But again, this is what is going to happen. And that's something you need to consider. So what I would tell anyone who wants to do a Camtasia tutorial is that these are things that people are actively looking for. So how to make a video tutorial with Camtasia Studio. This is a very specific search, but it's what people are looking for. And as you look, the search is moderate. The competition is high, but the optimization is very low. And if we look here, we're seeing similar results, but different things showing up. So again, how to make a video tutorial with Camtasia, that is something that Gord could easily come into and just kind of own authority there. And I've actually met the amazing people at Camtasia. That's something that I can't talk about at the moment, but we'll talk about later in the future. A lot of great things the people at Camtasia do. I do use Premiere, I do use Camtasia, but it's just something to consider. Eileen, welcome to the chat. Welcome everyone. Welcome RPM Nexus. Good to see more people coming in. Appreciate everyone joining us here today. So in order of Gord, we looked up Camtasia. So again, what we're seeing here is we have this information available. We have this opportunity to compare our own personal 
channels to ranking terms and we can come up with video topics. We can see what people are searching for on Google, YouTube, etc. And we have a lot more information than we did with the previous Tag Explorer. And it's such a useful tool. Again, if you haven't seen the video, we did a two buddy click that card on screen. If you're watching the replay, if you're watching this now, let me know. Have you been playing around with two buddies keyword explorer? I'm really loving everything you can do. And I'm curious. Daniel Patal says, here's a cool feature of this tool. Speaking of Gord, the way to score factors and how many videos you have ranking for the keyword term searched. Absolutely. Welcome, Jeffrey Eatley. I keep saying Eatley. Eatley. I am back from Washington, D.C. and walk into all these lives. It's awesome. Time to smash the creator and photography world. Time to get inspired. You do that, Jeff, because I know you can. Mary and Joe Adams. Hello. Welcome, Mary. Happy to have you with us. A guy like Gord would rank higher for Camtasia because of his previous videos. Absolutely, Daniel, which is why I bring up the lowest video view count and the weighted score earlier in the stream, which is very important because... He will be able to perform a lot better than my personal channel that has nothing about Camtasia. But I'm sure if we were to look up how to get verified on YouTube, I probably could do well on this. Maybe not ranking number one because of a couple of some things I've noticed, but this is something I could consider how I got verified, how to get verified. So one thing I could consider is how to get verified on YouTube. That's something I could add to the title. There's some ways I could just revamp this, but if you see here, I have the exact match here. We can see that Moaz here is doing very well, though I've mentioned this in previous streams. That's just a little too close, <laughs> but I do appreciate it. I think it just shows that I did something right. You know you're doing something right when people are following after you. So that's just an example of where this score isn't necessarily accurate to how I could perform considering how I've ranked in the past. So one thing I could say is how to get, how to verify your YouTube channel, which is different. I could probably make a video on this and have a little bit better based on what the results are showing. So this is actually something where I could probably have authority though. We can see Daryl Lee's right now is number one. So if we look here, there are other video topics or not video topics, but video searches. So how to verify your YouTube channel on your phone. That's something that Dynamon could probably do. So that's something you can all take into consideration. And there's so much where you could just easily do things. Hello, card perfect magician. Good to see you. But what I would like to do now is bring it over to you all watching. It is the channel review portion of the live stream. If you would like a channel review and or keyword searched that you are unsure about, I will give a breakdown of if I think based on what I'm seeing on the unweighted, because I don't have your weighted score, if that would make sense for you to go after or better video topic searches. So I'm always curious of what you have to say. So this is the channel review portion. If you would like a channel review looking, if you would like a channel review specifically, today we are gonna be doing general channel reviews, basically how well can I understand what your channel is about? How well can I figure out what you post and things like that? I'm always curious. Remember that super chat reviews take priority. If I've given you a review in the past and I don't remember your grade, please don't kill me. I do a lot of reviews. I'm seeing hard, perfect magician. So I add you to the queue. I'm seeing going after beginner photography basics or photography basics for beginner. So that's something to consider card. Perfect magician. You are to the queue. In the meantime, we are going to go over. I want to type in beginner photography and just looking here we see that tutorials are being looked after we're seeing tips so I also see mistakes so beginner photography basics so this is very bad for my personal channel but if we look at the unweighted this actually is pretty fair we can see that there's a high search volume there's pretty almost yellow competition but there is low optimization strength so Jeff I've already looked into this there is a lot you can do. I mean, beginner photography basics, the closest you have optimization wise is beginner photography here, be photography basics. But if you come in with good SEO, decent watch time out the gate, you have a high, uh, high probability of ranking, especially with that new tab, which this is a pretty search for term. So you have a really good chance of getting authority here. So even with that, you can consider that being just knowing that people are looking for these basics 
these beginner photography basics that's important and if we look here we can see beginner dslr photography basics so if you are using a dslr instead of a mirrorless camera that is something to consider as well because people are actively looking for it on google people are looking up these things so if you want to go for youtube and google these are some type topics you can go into in those beginner photography basics so again you're getting google you're getting youtube searches and you're seeing just how much more powerful this tool is with these new changes now jeff i would come in and see what your weighted score is rating because that's really going to be a game changer for you for me that's not what i do so it doesn't necessarily make sense but for your channel absolutely take a look at that weighted score and take in consideration into what people are looking for here so people want to know about aperture they want to know about iso and i know you know these are the basics but still beginner basics natural light portrait photography well that's a very specific video that you could do jeff and i know you could do it well and then you see beginner basics landscape photography which are going to have different scores so th this is even better it's moderately searched not that much competition and that's something that you need to take into consideration when it comes into how you're going to be doing the series that being said, I can't really say much more into this term. I would say just give it a shot. Go where those SEO practices and remember that there's currently not that well of an optimized video in the market for it. So that is something to consider. That being said, I first of all, thank you, Stacey Morgan, for the $5 super chat. You are added to the queue. If you have a term you would like me to look up as well, I would appreciate that. Hard Perfect Magician is... Next, consider removing the word photography. Andrew, try a beginner's light guide to lighting. But Daniel, he's not focusing on a beginner's guide to lighting. He's focusing on beginner's basics photography. So for keeping it based on that playlist he's trying to make, I don't know. I would say for what he's going for, he would probably do better keeping it that specific. But that's, again, that's what he's up to. Teeth whitening? That is one by Yuli. So... Or she's saying, am I whitening my teeth? I can't tell. But we are going to go ahead and look into that. Again, the cue as it stands is Card Perfect Magician and Stacey Morgan. I want to make sure we take this time to really go into what this keyword explorer can do. So, teeth whitening. As we look here, we're going to see if this will load for me. Ooh. There we are. Crypto cruising. I tag how I think I'd search, and it works for me, even if crypto... In crypto, I get top 10 to top 5 of my video. That's how good TubeBuddy is compared to other programs. Thank you, Crypto. That's actually great to know. If we take a look over at Teeth Whitening, we're going to see that this is very bad. This is very search. But here's the thing. This is something I would take into consideration. We see here optimization strength. So people here know how to optimize this video. So this might be a little different. Or they're accidentally optimizing very well. So keep that in consideration. The competition is very high as well. So with this, Yuli, what I'd recommend is kind of going into video topics and see what you can do to make it work a little better for you. Because with that, I would say, are you doing how teeth whitening at home or how to do teeth whitening at home might do better? Things like that, how to do, what to do for teeth whitening, that might be a little better because just teeth whitening as it is, is pretty competitive so again if you want to do a topic that broad you're going to need to make it really specific so if how teeth whiting gel works that might be way more specific and if you want to if you're talking about a gel for instance you see that this may be a better result for you and if we look at the results that we don't have one that says how teeth whitening gel works we have partial matches but no full matches and this is a great i like just great example of how you can easily break through using a term that's a little more specific and again got this right from those video topics so that's where these video topics are important and with these these other searches if they match the tooth whitening gel even if you just add in gel to those other searches so if we go back to teeth whitening so if we go to teeth whitening gel pen well then we have we have a little more specific and if we go to back to how teeth whitening gel pens work then that's super specific it adds just a different level and it's just more what you can do so i see a request from mary and joe adams scrap booking and journaling so if i can spell scrap booking and journaling 
And again, I will say journal writing and scrapbooking is what's coming up naturally. So that's interesting. Scrapbooking and journaling, but I can't spell apparently. So that's something to keep in mind. Now it seems I have that correct. At least from what you typed. So what it's recommending is scrapbooking with a space. So let's see if that has any different results. Slightly. Then Yuli, I would recommend typing in that search specifically for your title, but I would say that's probably going to be very competitive too. So find ways to be unique and stand out. So as we look here, just in general, this topic, which I'm assuming is your channel, what your channel is about, or it's something you want to talk about. So it's about gel. If it's about gel, be that specific. <laughs> So if we see here, the optimization strength is very low. So this gives you a high opportunity to come in. It's got moderate competition and it's moderately searched for. So what I would say with this is that it's, if you look, there are more web searches than there are necessarily video searches. So maybe take that in consideration. Maybe if we were looking at what it happened when I was typing in scrapbooking and journals so like we see just going back to kind of scrapbooking and journaling journal writing and scrapbooking had more results than at least it autofilled this way and it's actually slightly higher but here's the thing it does, it's not as searched so that's kind of the up and down of that so take that into consideration as it comes in but this one has more results so going for what you had the other one you have a chance to stand out in a little more but also there may not be that many people searching. So that's something you're going to have to keep in mind. That said, we're going to go ahead and get started with these channel review portion of the stream. And if you have any keywords that come up, just keep putting them down the way. Always appreciated. Always good to know. We have a question, RPM Nexus. I have plans to make videos on YouTube starter tech for YouTubers. I'm having a tough time trying to get title or keywords for a playlist for these videos. You have to be specific. Whatever you are doing, be very specific. The piece of tech you were reviewing, be as specific as you can. Again, you've got to be specific in your answers because people search for specific things. The odds of them just start typing one word is very slim to none. So the more specific you can be, the more results you'll find. And that's why what we do is you type in the general keyword and we give you specific search phrases that people are actually searching for. And sometimes what you type may not be what people are searching for, so it's up to you to try to find things that people actually are searching for. That's kind of the game you get to play. And a lot of people don't like SEO, but I find it the most exciting part. If I, and that may be just because of how long I've been doing this. But for me, it's, it's that final piece of the puzzle. Can I get this video to hit? Can I do the right things? Do I have enough authority? And sometimes the video may not hit until months later, but if it hits, that's all that matters. So many times people are like, oh, it didn't hit. Let me change everything. It's been a week. You got to give it time. This process takes time. A lot of this takes time. However, go ahead and focus. Hard, perfect magician. So the first thing that stands out is this is kind of a little difficult to read. It kind of clashes with the background. So one thing you could easily do is add a shadow or add a stroke that makes it a little bit defi more defined. I see Crypto Cruising says SEO is great when you get it correct, but sucks when you don't. Absolutely. Welcome, Demi. Happy to have you here. But here's the thing about SEO is that SEO is what you tell it. <laughs> so it's always a reflection mostly on the people who input the SEO. Jarhead6 says, dude, you broke YouTube last time. If YouTube goes down again, I'm just never going to have to quit live streaming. Uh, welcome, Ferris Jacqueline. Happy to have you here. New videos every week. I like that you tell me when you are. I see that you have a very popular video here. We talked about that. I remember we talked about different borders. The thing is, is I'm not seeing necessarily that much of a major change here. So that's a little hard for me to really come in and talk. I see that you've added more playlists and I see that they're a little more described, but I'm not seeing, I remember I mentioned some different colored variation changes. I'm seeing some of the things here. So it's not that I think it's bad. 
It's just I'm not seeing enough changes that stand out, except the banner here where you did add more, which I do appreciate. And I do like how you talk about you have a very accurate channel trailer, at least in something that kind of showcases what you can do. Green makes me think of gaming, says Ferris Jacqueline. Keep that into consideration. So for me, since I reviewed this so recently, the changes here are very subtle. So that's all I can say. Look at my recent videos. I'm not doing a perch video optimization thing so much this time around is just base level, but let's see. So again, anything you have here, this video is going to have the new tab. So this is going to probably be biased, but I'm seeing a better understanding of SEO. When you focus on what you title it, what I would say is that this description is where you need to focus on now because you have great SEO with your title and your tags are matching that, but you're missing out on this video description here. And that's what is just one thing you could do to just be a little better. Welcome, Doug Hewson. And what I'm seeing is in this video, I'll be no, 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 no. This needs to be higher. YouTube uses the first 200 characters. So what I would recommend is swapping that because YouTube isn't using this. It's under the fold. It's under what they're looking to observe. So I'd put it higher because when YouTube indexes, you want this to be higher than this. Also, technically, you're taking people off site here, which YouTube doesn't necessarily like. Another thing I'm noticing is you should pin a car, a card or not a card, but a comment just so people can be a part of the conversation. Maybe you drive conversation. I had the live stream playback of BitSummit, got some value out of the first video I've been able to watch, a tags tutorial. Well, Ferris, that's good. TubeBuddy's tag or keyword explorer came out after BitSummit, so a lot of what we do now is specific to your channel, so I'd take that in consideration. Overall, I see a much better understanding Card Perfect Magician, at least in tags. There's some things that I would say are either catch all, but like classic stock playing cards aren't necessarily going to do much for this video. Same with waterproof. I'm not sure what the stack is. So that's something to consider as well. Again, keep it focused on what the video topic is. Yes. Those car, th these things may be in this video, but it's not necessarily what the video is about. Give you a like just to, but based on what I'm seeing and based on the subtle changes I've seen, I would say that I don't remember what I gave you. Like I said, at the start of the stream, I don't remember every grade I've ever given. I've given a lot. But I would definitely say this is a much better, I'd say this is a easy B plus for me, a better understanding. Again, just focus on making this a little easier to read because at the moment it kind of clashes. Make sure that you can differentiate between the different kinds of series you're doing because as it is, it's a little difficult and I don't know, I don't know if other people can easily read this, but again, I'm zoomed in. So let me know chat if you can actually easily read this red here, because to me it's kind of blending, especially like it's not unreadable, but it's a little hard to look at. Welcome foul fish to the chat. Artistry and more new videos every week. I like that again. It's just make this stand out a little bit more overall much improved from what I can remember. And that's going to be it. Our next person we're going to be looking at is Stacy Morgan for our channel review. I can't read the font well, says Ferris Jacqueline, to Card Perfect Magician, so keep that in mind. So, Stacey Morgan, Rant Jams, Gambling Joker, Green Bay Wacky, Pusa Studios. I'm thinking these are people in the community that have done something for you, because I recognize a lot of these names. So I'm a little confused. I don't know what all of these channels necessarily have to do do with yours and if i'm a viewer i don't know what any if i'm a new user and i didn't know these people i would be very confused so keep that in mind a new user isn't gonna necessarily know what any of this means welcome simply beth so that's something i would say focus a little bit more on stacy morgan and a little less on everyone else because i'm here for stacy morgan not necessarily everything else uh this doesn't tell me what your channel is about it doesn't tell me what to expect from you i just see other people i do see the youtube play button but i i, I don't know stacy morgan says please keep in mind i got my first computer up till now i use my phone i'm not youtube smart yet jeffrey says you are in the right place to learn 
So that is something just to consider. And as we look here, I see that you only have your uploads and popular uploads. This is where you can kind of go in and give me some playlists, like let me know what your channel is about. I know from my understanding, oh, I remember this is the channel. Uh, okay, so the name changed, I believe. I believe this is the channel where you have words, you put names on the wall, correct? Like just looking here, thanks for being a part of the wall. That's cool. This would be, you. I would say what you could do is put some names and then put your name here, learn how, and then point to the videos down below. Again, add some, they are the Elite 50 and Andrew, you're on the wall as well. See, I'm remembering it now, but it's confusing for new users. So what I would say is make sure you have videos that explain what the wall is and get a channel trailer. Do you want to be on my wall? Here's how you can join the Stacey Morgan community and then make it super clear with that channel trailer. Because as it is, again, I'm looking at this unsubscribed new user. I need to be able to tell what you're doing just by looking. Cause I, I can tell a little bit more when I break it down by looking here, but not many users are going to make it this far. And if I look in your about, it's welcome to the great wall of YouTube, a wall that brings people together instead of keeping people apart. Put that up here. This is great, but I would have never been able to tell that based on this. And you're asking people to make it to your about page, which not many people make to the about page. Unfortunately, I'm let, let me know. Does anyone actually read the about page? I, I like reading the about pages, but I know when I watch people look at channels, they rarely do. And like if you have a younger skewing audience, good luck because <laughs> I've noticed from younger skewing audiences, they go based on visuals. People are saying nope for that. But again, it's not bad. I think you do a lot good on your channel, but it's not easily. If I'm a new subscriber, I have no idea what you are about. And that is a problem. I'm seeing from Simply Beth. I definitely read the about. Demi says, I always read it, but I'm a nerd. I don't even look at video descriptions, says Crypto Cruising. So we're getting a little bit of difference there. Shacklin. I feel like about pages are mostly just for searchability. I never read about Ferris, you are correct. They are they do play a huge part into searchability. Again, people are like, why can't I optimize my channel well? Well, you can. You get channel tags, you have a channel description, and your playlists are your videos. If you optimize your channel well, you can show up. So keep that in mind. What I will say, Stacey Morgan, is make it super easy for me to understand as a new user what you're about. Because I know just by knowing your channel a little bit about what you're about, but I couldn't tell you just by taking a quick look what this is about. So what I'm going to say is for what I'm seeing here, it's a little difficult. And this is a very unique idea that I think could do very well, but it's not explained very well daniel batal says i like posting on people's discussion page because nobody is ever there well i'm on the community tab but here's some people that i'm seeing and this is a great point that daniel brings up you have some some people here i say some more i'm trying to support you but i have to wait until youtube allows me to support they say i have too many subscriptions than subscribers i would reply to these people if you haven't already you may have replied to this person but it's something to take into consideration. I don't always read it verbatim, but I check it out. Again, we're getting some different results here. What I would say is make this a little more clear. I like the wall. I would just say maybe feature two people and then say, want your name on my wall? Because that would immediately give me as a viewer interest, intrigue. Why would you put my name on your wall? What are you providing me? Why do I want my name on your wall? Okay, you've got me curious. Oh, there's a channel trailer and it explains your reasoning. So that's something to consider. Bear Shacklin says, Andrew has a great point. Make your channel easy to know what you're about. Don't be confusing at all. Make it super easy to understand. Again, you this is my this this has got to be. You see me, you know what I'm about. If you look at my channel trailer, you know what I'm about. Even if it's just a video that isn't specifically a channel trailer, if it's something that is easily like I watch it and I'm like, oh, this person's really passionate about X, then that's good. Crypto Cruising says, always reply to people that have taken the time to leave comments, even if it's a thank you. Absolutely. Use CubeBuddy canned responses. 
Here's a feature that no one's talking about. You guys ready for the real scoop? You guys want to see some cool stuff? Because here we go. Ooh, heart rating. My heart racing. So, a lot of people don't know this, but it's there. So with TubeBuddy, you can now see people who are subscribed to you. So first of all, awesome Val, thank you. Simply Bath, thank you. Here is something that we will be talking about very soon on TubeBuddy. Guys are getting an exclusive sneak peek. It's live now. You need a legend level account for this, though. If you don't have legend, we can't provide this. Not because we don't want to. It's just because YouTube limits how much of this we can do. So it has to be a legendary feature. But you can see people who are subscribed to you, which is awesome. So if you are not a TubeBuddy legend user, consider getting TubeBuddy and using my affiliate code to do it. It's so easy. TubeBuddy.com slash can. Again, I work for TubeBuddy completely biased. So that's my thing. That's my stuff. Demi, thank you. Demi, how have I not done this for you? You're always here. Welcome to the mod club, Demi. Thank you for being such an avid supporter. Simply Beth says, I always thought it was weird that YouTube doesn't tell you that. You know, Simply Beth, I understand why they don't after working with TubeBuddy and seeing how hard it was to even do. So, man, again, a lot of times it's simple in execution, but you get down and down to it, you go, ooh. <laughs> why hasn't he mentioned this sooner? Says Daniel Vital. Uh, you know, I mentioned it in the first five seconds, actually probably the first minute of the stream, so... Yes, I don't know. I don't know what gave it away. Uh, quick, hide the two buddy shades, the two buddy business cards, all this. Isn't legend a funny word when you realize it's spelled leg end? Good point, crypto cruising. But remember, when you're working out, you can't you can't be legendary without leg day. Going back, does anyone want a either specific keyword phrase looked up or a channel review? I forgot to give a grade. Don't worry. Oh. Thank you, Andrew. I appreciate your word. Well, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to take a look at your channel and the super chat. It really does a lot. Apparently, I'm looking at Daniel. Oh no, you guys are looking at my. You're looking at my terrible background screen, which I'm sure is super interesting to everyone. But what I would say is here. I'm going to say, I'm going to give a D plus, and I'm a harsh grader if you've been here, but make it super easy. I like what you're doing on your channel. It's not super easy to tell what you're doing. So that is what I'd have to say with that. You, Lee, says pretty, the tree, Armstrong Racing, you're in the queue. If you have a keyword you would like me to explore and give you my thoughts on it, this is the time to ask again. But here, if you are here today, I'm going to teach you how to optimize a video tomorrow at the TubeBuddy YouTube channel. You guys don't need to miss it. It is amazing. It is awesome. So, that being said, I have someone in the queue. I'm going to quickly unsubscribe so I can take a look what your channel trailer is. Mary and Joe Adam, thanks. I depend on TubeBuddy for checking my tags and keeping up my stats. I want all 11 points. I'll try to make it to the live stream tomorrow. Says Vic. Thank you to everyone who's watching. We have 20 people. That is a personal best to the stream. I do appreciate you all. If you are new here, let me know with hashtag new. If you are old, put hashtag old. But remember, hashtag can live goes live Tuesdays, sometimes Thursdays. I need to be a little more consistent. My life needs to calm down. <laughs> So, we are looking at Armstrong Racing. Well, immediately what I see is a logo. I see racing, reviews, DIY. Okay, I know what to expect. So, what I see here is that what I can expect is racing, some reviews, some do-it-yourselves. But one thing I would say is I don't know when to expect this content. Even if you can give me monthly, weekly, if you know you go live every day, that stuff is important because as a new viewer, I, I wanna know that stuff. I, I It's important to know that stuff. So that's the one thing I would say here. 
And here's an example of they don't necessarily have a channel trailer specifically. I do also need to disclose I am friends with this channel. At least I'd like to believe so. You know, if you have me. But he doesn't feature me in his featured channels. This is heartbreaking. Ah, I'm joking. But what we see here is we see autocross unboxing. We see a pretty decent understanding of testing and certifications. We see unboxing. Here's what we... The only thing I would say on this one is this is a very specific title playlist. Unboxing, I'd be a little bit more specific. And then that's what I would say. But the more specific you can be, autocross as well, this may make sense, but if you can be a little bit more specific, that always helps. Like Subaru Tech Projects is very specific. And so you have really good, like some are specific, some could be a little better. Check out some of my projects as a Subaru Senior Master Tech. So Subaru Mas Subaru Test Pro Tech Projects makes sense. A look into my daily life at work makes sense. Easily understandable. Perfect. So from that, that makes sense. The thing I would say is I love your logo here, but I would say start including that, and this is an easy way you can do it, is just maybe make it to where it will fit on this yellow that you have here. And then you can put it maybe in this corner or in the top right or top left or right. I don't recommend here. Actually, I always have a hard time recommending top right because if you have, if you click, there's always this. So if people hover over it, especially on mobile, but that's something to consider. If we look at your about just because why not? Hi, my name is Tom. Good. What I would say is, hi, my name is Tom. Welcome to Armstrong Racing. So you have Armstrong Racing immediately there. This channel is home of, and I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Swapped Yaris is evolving, so join us. Again, I like the, again, I like this bit of information that is, it's here visually, which is good. But maybe with this is where you can put, we're evolving. Give me a little bit more call of action to why we should join your community. Give me that little bit of join us because you suck. You got me in. I see what you do. I see you have your speed test. I see everything. That's something to consider. So that's what I would say here. Overall, it's really good. You, I know that you have a you have Yuli, things like that. You can actually use the new Keyword Explorer to optimize your playlist title and description for discovery the same way your video titles and descriptions. Absolutely. However, when it comes to doing playlists, don't get too trapped in a playlist title because then if you have such a specific search phrase and it doesn't fit that, I've seen YouTube think it's misleading. So, Daniel, I like that idea. Harder to implement. <laughs> it's one of those... YouTube at one minute it's like, yes, and then at the other minute they're like, eh, I don't know. Hmm. Are you trying to gain? It's again, the algorithm is goes where you tell it, but if you tell it too specific of a thing, it can hurt your performance, so it's always uh, be careful. Though that does give me an idea of something we could uh, do at TubeBuddy is a playlist title suggester. Because we now have video topic ideas, which is video topic name suggestion. So that's a good idea, Daniel. Thanks. Gives me something to talk to Phil about. <laughs> so as we go back to Armstrong Racing, I'd say you have a really good understanding at a surface level. What's behind the curtain? What's behind the... You don't get what's behind the curtain. It's just a mirror. So you just see the back of my head. And if you look actually at the thumbnail for this, you can see when I had just the mirror there. So it's just my closet. I'm moving soon, and then what we'll have is a much an actual live stream set, which I am so excited for. We will be having an actual better camera because I'm testing some things. Big changes coming. If you like Can Live, it's about to get a lot better. So, thank you all for everyone who supports this. But Tom, your final grade is going to be an F minus. We are friends, but I don't see. <laughs> I'm joking. So realistically. I think letter, lettering does better over picks if it's on a blurred background rather than a focused background, says so Simply Beth. Good point. So what I would say is 
keep in mind that I'm going to say you are a C plus because I know you personally. And I think that you can really step up a few places just on brand authority. I think you have really good stuff here. I'm going to grade you hard because I know you have Yuli helping you and you have great videos. I would just say really focus on making it easily identifiable that it's yours. Simply Beth giving a lot of graphic design tips. So, as we continue going on, would anyone else like a channel review? Always interesting. Mar Welcome, affiliate marketing dude. You have one of the best shirts I have ever gotten at an event. I have to say, I wore it the other day. It is so comfortable. It, Guys, if you want to learn how to up your affiliate marketing game, affiliate marketing dude, check them out. Worth it. So, Jarhead, I believe you're talking about a channel review added to the queue. Remember that super chats always take priority. Welcome, happy life, family life. Welcome to the stream. Jarhead 6. And here we go. Got to cut the tags, though. Those are no. I kind of agree. <laughs> I don't like tags, but that's not really a problem of the shirt per se. It's just I get why they have tags. So, all right. Let's take a look at Jarhead 6. Transitioning. So, preparedness, guns, gears, knife. Only thing is, is, man, you really need to put some photos of you or something. What's with all this, like, empty space? There's nothing there. Get it? Because it's, because it's camo. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. More specifically, a little less, a little less, more on a more serious note. I do like the preparedness, guns, gear, knives. I would only say, when can I expect that kind of content? That would be my biggest thing. So keep that in mind. So I would say with that, let me know when you post i'd also have to say be very careful i have nothing personally against guns youtube they demonetize the content i would say i'm pretty sure you say preparedness make sure it's clear as well safety is a priority on your channel because i'm pretty sure it is just maybe include that because youtube is really iffy on the subject gotta love the times we're in I actually worked, side note, on a show about gun safety and preparedness. So, actually, was in Mississippi for a long time. So, yeah, this channel, I'm actually really interested. So, I lost 50% of my income in the last year since Jarhead 6. I know. What I would say is perhaps focus on affiliate sales. And I would say include safety because, like, gun channels can do well if you focus a lot on the safety aspect because if i was youtube and i saw this i see mostly the guns but that's just it so firearms range and ammo live streams politics chats crime more prepping and survival here's what i would say the first thing you are telling me is prep i would say you need to put this prepping and survival higher up or make your uploads, create your own custom uploads playlist, your own popular uploads playlist. We showed this in a past live stream. Those playlists that you create will show up in people's search, but the playlist you let YouTube auto do will not. So if you can get people watching your playlist because they like a bit of your content, always make your own playlist for your recent uploads. And prepping is a killer market to monetize as an affiliate. It says affiliating marketing MP. I'm never sure. Can I, I always, I always go by people's screen names when I talk to them. Cause I, if I know them personally, the chat may not always understand. So I'm always on debate on that. However, what I want to do is I say that I see a pretty clear theming, but if I look here at the Glock 43, 
the 43 is being cut off and I'm seeing this consistently. It's being cut off by the timestamp. So keep that in mind when it comes in. Another thing I'm seeing, like I like this one where it's a little better. It's a little higher. And again, when you have the text a little higher, but as it is, I'm seeing it get cut off by the timestamp pretty consistently. So that's a major change I'd make. Another thing I would do is find a way where if I see it, I think of your channel, like even branding, like when you're in the thumb, at least I'm considering it to you because it's pretty consistent there. I can tell it's your content, but on this Glock, I couldn't tell you who it is on this knife. I really couldn't tell you who it is. So you got to remember if I'm a fan of your channel, make sure I can easily tell it to you because a lot of times like here, these are super easy for me to tell you that's you. That's what I was referring to when I mentioned optimizing your playlist for discovery uploads doesn't help discovery. Creating a searchable title and description is more helpful. Absolutely. Absolutely. Daniel. But when it comes to, to channels like the blank most recent and blank most popular, like, for example, Jarhead 6 most recent videos, Jarhead 6 most popular videos. YouTube's not necessarily going to consider that misleading. It's just when you get into playlists that are, again, I've seen some channels, and this is a more recent thing, is YouTube is really, like if you saw, again, I will put a link in the description if you haven't, but I will put this here. If you haven't seen it, you need to see what YouTube is doing in 2018. I would say that that has some great information and it's just basically YouTube's priorities in 2018. And one thing they're doing is they're really cracking down on breaking terms of service. And I've seen a lot of people get hit with misleading like playlist stuff. They're like playlists are breaking terms of service. Not saying that it always will welcome modern day family, man. It's just that YouTube's not being specific. And it's one of those where it's not misleading. I see what they were doing with their playlist. An example was how to get better at YouTube lighting. And they had a few videos where they just talked about natural lighting and YouTube thought it was misleading. I think YouTube is just over tuning at the moment. So I'm just telling people when it comes to metadata, be clear on it. But I do agree with what you're saying, Daniel. Be And Daniel's giving great advice. Again, guys, go check out his channel if you haven't already. Make your playlist super searchable. I would just say be very careful with what you have. We have from Farrah Shackley, my friend's channel, 500k subs, was actually deleted, and she's a toy channel, unboxing toys for kids. We got her channel back. Be very careful. Again, it's YouTube at the moment is like overtuning, and I'm seeing channels get smited, <laughs> and it's like, YouTube, what the crap? <laughs> So keep all of that in mind. I, I always say be careful because even the best practices they tell us to do can be a little confusing. So you're working with an automated system and usually human review brings it back, but I, I'm trying to help people not get there. Right, smote, smitten. So, yeah. So as we look through, What I would say when I look at your channel is just a little easier branding. I like this, but put this, I would maybe make a playlist about gun safety. I see you have prepping and survival. I don't know if that is something you do, but I, maybe it's in your new shooter series, but I would do a series on gun safety. And then this is a, this is something you could easily do gun safety for handguns, gun safety for assault rifle, gun safety for Shotgun, gun safety for sniper rifle. I doubt many people have a sniper rifle, but you know what I mean. The more specific you can get, and if you show YouTube you take a priority in safety, you have a better chance. So, that being said, I'm going to give your channel... I'm going to give it a solid C for concealed... Uh, C+. Plus. I think you do really well. I think that you just need to consider that some of this graphic is being cut off and that's pretty consistent amongst the channel. I would say keep in mind that it's hard for me as a new user to identify it's your content and I don't know when I can expect new videos. So keep that in mind. I do like that you have concealed carry three things to avoid. 
So that again focuses on that safety, but maybe put a more recent video. Cause if I see that a video is three years old, part of me thinks, are they still active? Again, I would always just keep that in mind. And if you have, you don't have a dedicated channel trailer, what I would say is try to focus on a newer upload that still fits your goals that you can put, and then it promotes to your people. So take that in mind. Daniel Batal says, I'll give him C++ programmer humor. <laughs> so yeah, this was where I got it. You should join the TubeBuddy forums. I'm completely biased. I work for TubeBuddy. I think we've gotten that. Is it hard to get a video suggested if I swear in it? <sighs> so I don't have enough data to say yes or no. I have enough data to know that swearing immediately hurts how much you can earn on YouTube, how much YouTube will naturally just roll you out to your subscribers. I don't know about suggested, but based on the subscriber rollout, maybe. What I think YouTube should have, which I suggest every time, there's a feedback thing, is if you give people the ability to label what kind of content their channel is, so if this video on my channel is TV14, for example, like they do on TV, then the advertisers know that this is the stuff they can expect, and you take out some of the confusion. However, the data is not enough there. That being said, I know that Happy Life Family Life is asking for a channel review, so that is next. I know, Ferris, you are also asking for one. Apparently, so keep that in mind. So Ferris, you are in the queue. Do not worry. Do not fret. So with that, we are going to transition over. So a couple of things. Does your discount code work for current users? Absolutely, Modern Day Family Man. It does. 25% off. You may have to cancel your license, though. And if you have a lifetime deal, then no, but keep that in mind. All right, happy life, family life. First thing off the bat, I get with the name this. I would say that this tells me nothing, but these are your children. So if I'm a new user, I'm just seeing three children. That's something to keep in mind. I would also say when people hide their subscriber counts, it looks suspicious more so than not. Like it gives the impression, what are you trying to hide? Which I don't know if you are trying to hide something or maybe you just don't have subscribers, which I'm not sure. That's something to consider. Um, when I look here, there's no playlist, so I can't easily tell what your channel is about. Even if you just have a trailer, that really does help me a lot. If I see these thumbnails could be a lot better. There's nothing here that is clear. It's a little confusing. Fair Shacklin, okay, I actually have to go to my crisis counseling work. Otherwise, I stay. You can remove me from the queue. I'll join another time. Have a great night. Ferris, thank you for stopping by. Something to consider. So what I would say is that these thumbnails could be a little better, a little more clear titles he said yes he loves me finally that's not really that searchable again this seems like from what i'm seeing is are you just trying to have a place where you can store your family and like family memories and that people can see and enjoy your journey because if so then that would be fine for these kind of titles but there's nothing that's searchable that's going to help people find your channel easily and you're going to have a harder time growing because from what I'm seeing here, the value is your family and most people like, why should I care about your family as an outside user? And I watch family vloggers. So that's something you always have to say. Every guy sketches says it looks like a cute channel. I don't disagree. It's just what are new users going to think? I'm also going to say make playlists. If you are vlogging every day or if you're doing something daily or if you have something that is consistent, I wouldn't know listening to this video without sound. It says, here you guys sketches. Again, I can't easily tell what your channel is about. And as it is, it seems like this channel is so new that 
I'm going to give non-applicable to a grade because I don't see enough here to grade. Simply Beth says, yeah, there are a lot of cute channels. Why yours? Which is a fair point because at the moment is I can't tell. Maybe in your about you have information logging for the long haul. Again, this grow with us videos would have never known. Hey, my niche is happy life, family life, funny videos, mom life. So these hashtags don't work the same on YouTube as they do on other platforms. So again, it's just kind of a lack of understanding the platform at the moment. I can tell you're new. You say also we are new. So again, it's more so that I would say focus on setting up some playlists, focus on making what is the value for subscribing or to your channel, and then make it clear what we can expect because I, I don't even like, here's the thing. I can't easily even tell their names. And if they're a part of your family, which I get, shouldn't I at least know that I should know the people that are going to be in it. And here's an idea for channel banner, put a group photo, then maybe point to the names of everyone that's in your family. So yeah, again, it's not bad. It's just very new. And Daniel asks a good question. Happy life, family life. Are you creating custom thumbnails or are you just letting YouTube pick them as still stills from your life, from your videos? Because if you are just letting YouTube pick, you should use TubeBuddy's thumbnail generator. It's a great tool. Always see it as an outsider. Why your channel? What can you offer? Says Dimmy. Very good points. So Ferris said that she understands. Happy life, family life, says Dan, letting them pick them out. You need custom thumbnails. You need that ability to stand out. It's not, it, it's something you really need to put time in because that is what YouTube's going to use to help promote your channel, help put in the work. That can help you a ton if you make them yourself. Daniel's right. That's something you need to consider. I have a video on this channel on five tips for amazing thumbnails. You should check that out. I worked with it. I worked on it with my friend, Aaron. Great guy. But that's all things you can consider. I know the next person in the queue is modern day family man, which might be a really decent follow up to what we see here. So why don't we go ahead and check out the channel. In the meantime, we have the chat back on my end. Thank you. I did sign up for two, buddy. Awesome. Happy to have you here with us. Not to plug or anything, but two, buddy lets you make thumbnails. Says Harry Guy Sketches. I don't. Uh, <laughs> I got. I, I hope you appreciate the bit of meta humor, as I call it. So as we go here, I think reviews and how tos by M D F M Honor Day Family Man. So what? As we can see. Reviews and how to's by only thing I would say is the colors since it's all blue they kind of blend together a little bit I like the banner but that's something that I just thought of kind of just seeing so I do like that we can see reviews and how to's by so I know what to expect so that's that modern day family man I'm assuming by your name are you daily if not, I would like to know when I can expect you to go, your videos to go. Because I can't really tell. So that's something to consider. So they have a personal channel trailer. What I would say is, since your channel name here is Modern Day Family Man, I would put, instead of putting MDFM, I would put Modern Day Family Man. Keep the MDFM after you spell out your channel name because that's going to be the searchable part and then i would put awesome youtube trailer uh, that's not going to necessarily be searchable i'm pretty sure if we were to awesome youtube trailer right so let's take a look oh what do i know maybe not a lot of people oh well let's see Channel, so what we see here are people are looking for another specific YouTube channel's trailer. Results, awesome YouTube trailer, YouTube. So people are, when it comes to that, that might be something that's a little bit more 
confusing. Again, Channel Awesome is lucky that their name is Channel Awesome because then the awesome YouTube trailer just happens to natively be in their name. Arrows and question marks go to the punctuation to go to for channel reviews. You know what? I can do more than question marks and arrows. I can do lines. I can do crosses. I can do multiplications. I'm varied hairy guy sketches. But that is something to consider. So more people are going to look up your name for your trailer than just MDFM. So you could also argue your core fan base is going to look for that. So the first thing I like is this is something that's very good. Reviews must see awesome must see reviews. So we see reviews. The next thing I want to see is how to, because again, you told me right here, reviews and how to. So the next thing I want to see is those how to's immediately after. And I only say this because you have a custom playlist here. So I would say maybe put awesome must see, and this is where you can put MDFM reviews for this, because that for people who know you, that'll make more sense. Then I see the trackers, I see the uploads. I just see a little bit of con inconsistency here. So I see Bluetooth trackers, I see smart home, I see GPS trackers, I see pet GPS trackers, I see generator conversion. And what I'm seeing is I need to see more playlist descriptions because you don't have them under your playlist. I see them on one, but that's something. I also see you promoting your weight loss channel, which isn't bad per se but all these videos are five years old so i'm not sure that's something you necessarily want to put there right now daniel patal says a lot of creators i know have been keeping their trailers unlisted and just letting them run for new visitors by featuring on their home play with autoplay no need for optimizations or thumbnails I disagree with that though, Daniel, because that is a way for you to be discovered if people type in your channel name and they, if that's the first video they watch, that's great. If you have them unlisted, it won't show up in search. I don't like that practice because I've found that working with TubeBuddy, I've seen better success for channels who have their trailers live than not. So that's just kind of my personal thing. The data would back up, have your channel trailer as a video and let it be that for you. So. That's at least what I have. So with that, I see that you have your logo. It's pretty clear to tell it's you. I see, I do notice that the logo seems to be missing on some of these. So I kind of like this logo here a little better than this tiny MDM thing. I think the family man face should be on the thumbs. I think that makes sense since it is here as well. I'm going to be bold and say I prefer thumbs to have unique photos rather than repeating the same old, same old. I don't disagree, Andrew. I just found it to be an interesting choice. Helps you if you don't want your trailer to be anything more than a greeting. I get it, Daniel. But I would say I don't like when people are just like, it's just a quick greeting. Because that, because it can be so much more. It can be so much more. And that's not a thing at you. It's just, I don't just, I just don't like when people do that. I'm like, let it be. And most of the time when I ask them why not, they're like, it's not that good of a channel trailer then you can redo it. We can rebuild him. We can re... <laughs> Gosh, the million dollar man. I'm doing some A-B testing with the thumbnails, says Modern Day Family Man. So try what Beth suggested. Try putting yourself a little bit more into what is actually... I mean, it's you're the Modern Day Family Man. It makes sense to have you in there. So I keep that in mind. Another thing is I noticed that you are... It looks like you're doing in like a tile series so i would keep in mind when it comes to this kind of stuff if you're doing like all these tech-based stuff i guess the real thing is modern day family man that's who i'm subscribing for that's what the channel's called and i kind of agree there's a lack of him in these thumbnails so kind of go with that I don't think it's a two buddy fight. I just think it's different ideas. I think with different ideas brings new innovation, new innovation, happy customers. And if it's just a constant, I agree. I agree. Not that interesting. Like when Nick and I fought hashtag two buddy civil war hashtag never forget. 
But modern day family, man, what I would say is that keep testing, keep seeing. I just want to see what people say. I want to see what your tests show. So keep testing, keep going with it. That's my opinion. Your data will always, your facts are always going to be better than my feelings. So keep that in mind. It would appear that Doug mistyped for some reason. That is so weird. It's just, I had to delete that message there, Doug. <laughs> yeah, see, Demi typed incorrectly. <laughs> but in all serious, modern day family, man, I would say that you get, I would give you a B because I think you are doing really well on what you are doing here. See, I also draw letters sometimes. So I would say what you really do well here is you have a decent understanding of what works for your channel. Like you hone true to it. I can tell what you're about just by looking. Just let me know when you go live. Put a little bit maybe more of you in the thumbnails as a suggestion. Again, use your data, not my feelings. So that's what I would say there. It's just something to keep into consideration. So overall, I think it's really good. And a B is a solid grade. So with that, man, I don't know what happens, Doug. It's just your messages keep getting to me. <laughs> In all seriousness, love for the Nimenati. <laughs> you keep mod in yourself. <laughs> so in all seriousness, I actually have a Nimenati shirt. It's just a little bit of fun. Nick knows. But what you all should be more interested in is the Tube Buddy Infinity Award. Nah. But in all seriousness, thank you, everyone. I think that is going to be it for today. It was a lot of fun on the stream. I want to thank all of you who stuck around. Demi, Doug, Daniel, Crypto Cruising, Yuli, Happy Life, Family Life. We just had a lot of people, Card Perfect Magician, Jeff. We had so many people come in today. We had Simply Bath again. I appreciate all of you. Harry Guy Sketches. There's so many amazing people that are here today. Jarhead6, Affiliate Marketing Dude, Ferris Jacqueline, everyone who stopped by today. Thank you so much for watching. I would recommend subscribing to the TubeBuddy channel because tomorrow I'm going to teach you how to optimize Mary and Joe Adams, of course. Thank you for a great live. Well, thank you all for watching. I mean, I would not be able to do this if it wasn't for you. But if you want to learn more about film travel and my expertise, you can check out that playlist right there. If you want to subscribe to this channel, you can do so below. If you want to see what YouTube thinks you would like the most, leave it to YouTube. I'm Andrew Cannon. Remember, if I can, you can too. Thanks, everyone.